to the HP DesignJet How to Use Video Series. In this episode, I will discuss image quality maintenance for the HP DesignJet Z6800 photo production printer. To achieve the best performance from your printer, use only genuine HP supplies and accessories. Their reliability and performance has been thoroughly tested to give trouble-free performance and the best quality prints. Make sure that the media type you select on the front panel display is the same media type that is loaded into the printer. Make sure that the media has been calibrated. Also, make sure that the media type that you select in your software driver is the same as the media that is loaded in the printer. Be sure you are using the most appropriate print quality settings for your purposes. Environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity can also affect image quality. Make sure that your environment is within the recommended ranges. If you're in a dry, arid climate, you may want to add a humidifier. If you're in a humid client, climate, you may want to add a dehumidifier. Remember, paper is made of wood fibers that can shrink and expand, which can create printing issues. And last of all, resist the urge to touch the paper while, it is pr while the printing is in progress. HP has made it very easy to troubleshoot printing issues. Located on the support tab in the embedded web server is a section aptly called Print Quality Troubleshooting. So we've accessed the support tab within the embedded web server. You will notice that there are three options listed here. The first is to optimize print quality. This runs all calibrations on the printer. It usually takes between 20 and 30 minutes to complete these operations. The second option is optimization suggested actions. This option suggests a series of recommended actions to improve print quality based on the results of internal checks. These actions may include reseeding a print head, changing the paper to run a specific calibration, and cleaning some printer component. Make sure to execute these actions in the proposed order. The last option is Most Common Issues Resolution. This option is designed to help you resolve some of the most common print quality issues that users encounter in large format printing. These include dark or light horizontal lines across the image, otherwise known as banding, graininess, poor line quality, and color inaccuracy. Within this window, you can select the print quality issue that you are experiencing and click Next. A list of suggestive corrective actions appears along with help to guide you through each action. Banding is caused by a few things. The most common cause is the media type selected on the front panel display does not actually match what is loaded into the printer. The second cause is print quality selection. Banding will most likely occur if you have chosen to print a photo in fast mode. Selecting normal or best mode will probably fix this issue. The last cause is a print head issue. The print head may not be calibrated or clean causing gaps, otherwise known as bands, in the print. You can determine if this is the issue by printing the image diagnostic print. From the front panel display, you can access the quality maintenance menu icon and click on print diagnostic image. This will take about two minutes. I will demonstrate this process now. The diagnostic print is divided into two parts, both of which test print head performance. Part 1 consists of rectangles of solid colors, one for each print head. This part represents the print quality that you would get from each color. Part 2 consists of small dashes, one for each nozzle. This part complements the first and aims more specifically to detect how many faulty nozzles each print head may have. Please look carefully at the print. First look at part one of the print. Each colored rectangle should be uniform in color without any horizontal lines across it. Then look at part two of the print. For each individual colored pattern, check that most of the dashes are present. If you see horizontal lines in any of the solid color fills in part one, and any missing dashes for the same color in part two, 
the print head responsible needs to be cleaned. Based on the results you see, you may need to clean a print head or multiple print heads. You can do this from the front panel display of the printer, and I'm going to demonstrate this process right now. After you've cleaned the print heads, print the diagnostic print once more and check the result. If you still notice the same issues, you should manually clean the print heads and reprint the diagnostic image. If the problem still exists, you will want to clean the print head drop detector. You can find instructions on how to do this in your user's manual. If none of the actions have fixed the issue, then your next step should be replacing the print head. A grainy print is frustrating. You expect to see a beautiful, colorful image that is crisp. Instead, you get something that looks like a Monet. Nice from a distance, but a mess up close. The most common cause is the image quality itself. Assuming that you actually are working with an image that is enough pixels to be enlarged, we will go on to the actual printer issues that could cause this problem. The media type selected on the front panel display is not what is actually loaded. You need to double check this. Make sure that you are printing on the correct side of the paper. I have seen a few instances in which users have actually been able to load the media backwards and it's printing on the back side of the media. Make sure that you are printing in at least normal mode or best. If you have checked all of this and the problem still exists, the next step is to run a print head alignment and a paper advanced calibration. This will usually address graininess issues. Line quality issues stem from print head alignment and cleanliness. If you are noticing line quality issues such as jagged lines, lines that are too thick or too thin, or the lines are broken in areas, run the diagnostic print I showed you earlier and identify if a print head needs to be cleaned, aligned, or replaced. Another cause of line quality issues has to do with the actual print driver. It is recommended that you're, if you were printing files with lots of line data to use the HPGL2 driver. More than likely, the resolution of your image is greater than the printing resolution causing a loss in line quality. To fix this, you will need to make a change in the driver settings. From within the driver, click on the Advanced tab. Under Document Options and then Printer Features, make sure to select Max Application Resolution. This should help fix those issues. Another issue I see is called cockling. This is when the media has become oversaturated and gets waves through the media. I'm sure we've all seen this during our younger days when we got a little too crazy with magic markers. This is an easy problem to fix. Choose a thicker media to print on. If you plan on printing graphics and photos, using bond paper is not a good option. It's too thin. Look at using a heavyweight coated paper or a photo media. Accurate colors can become a very complex issue. The first thing you must make sure of is that your monitor is calibrated. Your next steps to fix this problem are to check that the paper type you've loaded corresponds to the paper type that you've selected on the front panel display and in your software. Also check the color calibration status. If the status is recommended or obsolete, you should perform a color calibration. Also check that you are printing on the correct side of the paper. Make sure that you're using the appropriate print quality settings. Normal or best mode is what you should be using. If you're using application color management, make sure that the color profile that you are using corresponds to the selected paper type and print quality settings. If you have doubts about which color settings, which color settings to use, <clears throat> see the color management section in your user's manual. You may need to create a color profile. I reviewed that in the How to Use Your HP DesignJet Z6800 Loading and Unloading Media video. Check the image diagnostic print and check to make sure that all the print heads are operating properly. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more in-depth product information, I recommend that you refer to the user's manual which shipped with your printer on a CD. Or you can download it at hp.com under the support tab.